that's news. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It hasn't really felt real, it hasn't felt different, and it's almost like I don't want to allow myself to think about it until I like know it's for sure. <laughs> We are headed to our first scan. How are you feeling? I am so excited. I absolutely cannot wait. That's our baby. I thought that I would document to the best that I could this whole process because I want to remember things. I want to also like share the journey for myself to be able to look back at at some point so obviously yesterday i took a couple pregnancy tests and needless to say i see a little line and i haven't seen any lines whatsoever prior to that so i'm like okay that's interesting still in denial i was like okay you know what let's just go to the drugstore get some more pregnancy tests i go into the bathroom at the drugstore because i'm like i gotta do this now i'm so impatient and it's a very faint line so i call my mom because i'm like i need to talk to someone about this and like what do you think i should do so she had like kind of maybe recommended that i get a digital one just to see i also read after the call i had with my mom in the packet for the clear blue tests where the line was really faint that even if there's a line at all it doesn't matter if it's like faint or darker you are pregnant so i was like okay interesting i get the digital test and it says pregnant and it says two to three weeks that was when i was like okay i'll probably now tell jamie i just was like in a state of disbelief and honestly i was really happy because although i wasn't like expecting it at all at this time i was open to it at any point it just obviously came a lot faster than either of us expected so i told him and it was kind of a similar reaction where he was just completely shocked and to be honest like i haven't had the flood of emotion yet that i thought i would i feel like i'm still in shock my next step was like i think i still haven't fully allowed myself to be excited and like think about it in any great level of detail because i want to go get like the doctor's checkup so i'm going to get some blood work done i think i'm doing that tomorrow i have the requisition form i think there's two tests i think there's like a urine test and a pregnancy blood work test this is all very new to me i've obviously never gone through this never been pregnant it's very exciting i'm trying to just limit the amount of information that i take in right now because it's so early and i just don't want to overwhelm myself and i think that i'll have that kind of approach for the whole thing is what I would imagine because I just don't want to become overwhelmed and I want to really manage stress and something for me is like information overload and like feeling like I'm not doing enough is always something that tends to be very stressful to me so that's it for today we have some news <laughs> that I just deleted a couple of videos by accident of basically me explaining that I was going to get blood work done and also just to confirm the pregnancy because I told my sister as you'll see in the previous clip and I told my mom but I wanted to go and confirm things with the lab and with my doctor before I told anyone else and before I even really allowed myself to get like excited or start thinking about it as a real possibility i went and did that yesterday they did like a bunch of blood work just to confirm like most of my levels were healthy and some different things that they needed to check for everything so far i've gotten like most of the results have come back normal on the results was that the pregnancy is positive i've allowed myself to kind of be excited about it now interestingly up until like a day ago or even today I really haven't been feeling many symptoms at all and so it just hasn't really felt real it hasn't felt different and it's almost like I don't want to allow myself to think about it until I like know it's for sure I don't know there's just like a part of me that like it still doesn't feel quite like it's like registered and I know a lot of people 
say that and i've been watching a ton of videos from people going through this experience as well i have nothing to compare it to i've never gone through this myself and like truly no life experience can compare to this so it's just very new and i overall feel very good and i'm very happy and surprised but pleasantly surprised um today i definitely am feeling it though i have this ice pack just like on my stomach because i'm just having like a lot of cramping which isn't much worse than just regular period cramps but one thing i've started to notice which for me is very unusual is like i have basically no appetite and i've been having to really force myself to eat because if i don't eat anything then i start to feel like just so off and so sick so i mean that's only been like the last day or two before that i have been feeling totally normal aside from obviously missing my period i would have had no clue and i'm really excited because tomorrow is father's day and i'm gonna facetime my family like my whole family i've already told my sister and my mom but i'm gonna facetime my whole family and i'm gonna basically my plan i hope it works i hope i don't get too nervous and ruin the plan is I'm just gonna say to my dad like, oh, um, I got you like an e-gift card. I'll send you the picture on your phone. Like, that, that'll be my like gift. Um, and then I'll send him a picture of the pregnancy test and everyone, like I have two brothers, so they'll be there as well, I think. It's kind of perfect timing because everyone is together and I feel like if it were any other time, if I tried to organize like a group FaceTime call, everyone would be like, why? <laughs> I'm gonna record it. <laughs> okay, should I use it? What? Yeah, we might need you, Jamie. My <laughs> gift involves, it's an e-gift yeah. card, so can you still see your messages? Okay, I'm checking in because I'm about to go to another appointment. So far, the sequence of events is I got the positive pregnancy test at home. I called my doctor. I just had a quick call so that she could refer me to get some blood work done. That blood work came back as well as the positive pregnancy test from the lab. And then now I'm back to see my doctor and I believe that we're just going over the results and she had kind of mentioned that this would be the appointment where she refers me out to kind of the person that will be helping me through the next phase of the process. So I'm really just thinking this will be a quick easy appointment as far as I know. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. I don't, still don't really feel a great deal of symptoms other than like a little bit of stomach being upset and like a little bit of dizziness here and there. My appetite has definitely been the biggest area that I've noticed a huge difference. Jamie's parents, as you know, are visiting from England right now and they brought this huge bag of like chocolate and sweets and candy and usually I would be all over that and I just like haven't wanted it at all. I haven't been wanting like my usual snacks at all, which is very unusual for me. Um, so I haven't been eating as much, interestingly. I've just been like trying to get meals in, but genuinely it's quite hard right now to eat because like I actually have no appetite. So that would be like the number one thing that I'm noticing, but it's not really anything too intense. And other than that, I'm feeling really good, so. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Basically, now I have to go to a midwife or go to the maternity clinic at my local hospital. I really wanted to opt for a midwife. My mom had four kids, uh, my sister, my brother, me, and then eight years later, my little brother. For the first three pregnancies, she went the kind of OB route. And then for her fourth pregnancy, where I was a little bit older to witness, she went with a midwife and she said that was her best experience and she really enjoyed the experience of having a midwife and also i was old enough to kind of witness her going through that process and i just really liked that level of support so my goal was to work with a midwife but unfortunately literally every single midwife i've reached out to in my area is full 
which is really sad. So I reached out to the maternity clinic at my hospital, which is totally fine, and they're able to take me on. So I'm starting that process in a couple of weeks as well. On Friday, which is tomorrow, I'm going in for my first ultrasound and it's just to confirm the timing and see like where i'm at after that i have my first appointment with the maternity clinic at the hospital so the ultrasound is being done just at like a medical imaging center in my area and then i'll start to actually have a doctor that i'll work with in the maternity clinic of the hospital i also got some prenatal vitamins my doctor recommended that i start taking folic acid now this one, just looking at the ingredients, is the one that I went with, but I don't really know a lot about supplements. I would definitely recommend doing your own research. I don't really know. It had good reviews. The person at the store said it was a good one, and it had what I needed for folic acid. Also, it includes like some other things like vitamin A, C, D, E, iron, zinc, potassium, that kind of thing. So I do find with supplements, sometimes I can feel kind of nauseous, but so far so good with this one. All right, we are headed to our first scan. How are you feeling? I am so excited. I absolutely cannot wait. Are you nervous? Not at all. Really? Yeah. 21 minutes. Oh, I am actually, because it's like the first like real, it real. Makes it real. Yeah. Um, you have to be a certain amount. Like you have to be eight weeks. Right, right, right. Down and they think that based on my last missed period date, like that's how they calculate it. But we don't know, you just like don't know for sure. So, like, I guess it does happen that people go to get that done and then they have to go back, which I really don't want to do. So, and I also just think that would put me on edge, like, it would make me nervous. What the heck is going on? Got down. We're on our way there. My bladder had to be full, so I am on the brink of peeing my pants. <laughs> it's so funny that your bladder has to be full. Yeah. I don't really know why. Yeah. Um, so actually, this is Jamie's first appearance in this series. How are you feeling? I am so excited. I was driving home with friends earlier, and I knew we were going for the scan today, and I just like was smiling to myself, and I'm like, I can't, obviously can't tell anyone. Yeah. So it's just like this like kind of really wry smile to yeah. myself. So... Okay, little update. I had suspected that this might happen and it wasn't what I wanted because I kind of just wanted things to be like easy and moving forward. We have to go back for another ultrasound because basically, although my like last period would put me technically at eight weeks, because I have an irregular period because I got my IOD removed, it's actually harder. Like I, I may not actually be that far along so there was like a sack which is what they want to see and she could see that like you know it was what it should look like around this period she estimated or i guess like their system estimated closer to five weeks which basically just means that i have to go back in another two and a half weeks and do that whole process again which is totally fine it was super easy I did kind of just want to like progress um, but obviously like there, there's no control that I have over that and it's good to at least have a sense now and then we'll get a little bit more clarity next time so in the meantime haven't really got a lot of appointments coming up just kind of day by day I'm feeling good no major developments in my symptoms but she did say that things progress pretty quickly at this stage and they just grow like a weed so I'm hoping everything is going okay obviously like when it's not exactly at the point that you expect it to be there's like a little bit of nerves there but I'm sure like everything is fine it's just we're not quite at the phase yet that maybe we thought we were so things have taken a bit of a turn I feel like at some point in this series I said that like I was feeling good and I was so surprised with how good I was feeling and I didn't really feel any different aside from some cramping here and there. That has definitely changed. I would say within the last week to week and a half, I have been feeling bad. The main symptom that's like really bothering me is the nausea. And for me, I'm not getting sick or anything. Like nothing's happening. It's just a constant nauseous feeling and I have no appetite at all. And that's been really hard because I've been wanting to eat and been wanting to like make sure that I'm staying you know like healthy but nothing 
nothing appeals to me. I think like the only foods that I've been tolerating lately has been very, very plain, like bland foods like a bagel or Cheerios or certain fruits. I would say actually fruit has been sitting really well. But other than that, like everything is making me feel nauseous. It's sort of in a weird way nice to be feeling these things because it makes me feel like things are progressing. I know that when we went for the last scan, like nothing was necessarily wrong. And I anticipated that that might have happened, that I may not been where they need me to be in order to like get the timing. But that kind of just made me a little bit nervous in terms of the, how things were progressing and because I wasn't really feeling symptoms at the time, it was like just a little bit scary to not feel pregnant and to not really have the affirmation of the ultrasound. And I don't know if I really explained this very well in the previous video where I was talking about the ultrasound, but basically they thought based on a typical 28 day cycle that because of my last period, I was eight weeks or around there but because my cycle is so regular and has been ever since I got my IUD out in January I may not actually have been ovulating on I think she said the 15 day mark that they kind of base those dates around so again it's not that it was a problem with the way things are progressing it's just that I am not quite at the point where there's going to be anything for them to really look at on the ultrasound. I was able to see the little sack, I think she called it, and then the little yolk sack inside, but they really need me to come back and do a scan to see the actual like fetus and to be able to then determine the dates based on that. That's our baby. It's really, really tiny. At first I was like, she was like, there's your baby, and I was like, where? Um, but it's just this little spot here. I can't remember where I was in this update because that was two weeks ago. But basically, it's just been such a whirlwind because Jamie and I have actually decided that we're going to move back to Ontario to be closer to my family. We just kind of discussed a bunch of different options for where we were going to live. You know what we were gonna do and ultimately we decided that we want to be close to family we want that support and it's a really difficult decision like so many conversations we initially were like okay maybe we'll try to stay in British Columbia but we'll go to like Victoria because we can potentially afford a house there and that kind of fell through and it was just a lot of conversations about what would be the best option and it's kind of hard in those situations because there isn't really any best option but yeah, that's what we've decided. So that has been in the works, hence the lack of updates. But this was exactly two weeks ago because I was eight weeks when I got this done. And so now I'm 10 weeks. So it's crazy because I'm almost through the first trimester. Two more weeks and then I'll be into second trimester. So there's not really a lot of updates in terms of like how I'm feeling and the bump or anything like I haven't noticed any difference yet with my appearance um, and still feeling pretty nauseous but I did get some good news that I got in with a midwife clinic in my hometown where we'll be moving to which is good because we had applied to like literally every single midwif midwifery in Vancouver and every single one of them was full and like rejected us which is really disheartening so that's a relief things are moving along feeling gradually a bit better and yeah that's pretty much the update for today